hello 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 welcome back welcome back to my channel today i'm here for tourists okay let's get into this um some tourists could be coming out of some pain um or in some deep thought thinking about what if this and what if that okay I heard the song, Ain't no sunshine when she gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only darkness every day. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Cause she's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away. Bah. Okay. And I heard this song, Lost My Way by Spectrum. X Alina song. I don't know that song. I had to look it up because I was just hearing it. So I had to Google it. And I'm, some tourists could, could, uh, could be receiving some recognition this week. Um, I was hearing congratulations to New Beginnings. Um, possibly some ceremony could be taking place. Um, I was also hearing cheers to the freaking weekend. I drank to that. Yeah, yeah. So by Rihanna. So yeah, that's all I got for you there. Taurus. Maybe that, that seems like a couple different Tauruses. Somebody's uh, getting pulling themselves together. And somebody's celebrating a new, possibly job in a new location. Well, that just seems like two stories. Man. I'm not there. Is that letting it count? <laughs> How y'all doing? How y'all doing? What we got for y'all? From the 6 to the 12. Oh, it's about to rain. From the 6 to the 12. Taurus. What do we got from the 6 to the 12 for Taurus? Taurus from the 6 to the 12. For Taurus from the 6 to the 12. Yes, yes, yes. Let you be the eyeball out and bring out three cards. So far, I haven't had to get three cards, but I got three cards or two, so let's get into it. We got love is all around here. The miracles are endless and be at home. Okay? So, um, this week you're going to be adapting or learning to adapt. Learning how to make yourself at home or make the best out of situations. Um, you're going to be um, having an increased faith or an increased inspiration this week um, that brings in the energy to you that meant that miracles can be um, endless. Uh, Nightingale spirit, we have a love is all around with Nightingale spirit. You, your soul is singing its own song this week, okay? Um, you're no longer trying to get on the same tune with other people, okay? You're gonna let your own your soul sing its own song and what let it be what it may, okay? So that's what we got for you this week. So let's get some of these cards out here. Get some of these cards. What do we got here for Taurus? God, universe, angels, spirit gods. What do we have for Taurus? <laughs> My spirit guys are funny like me. I was just like, God, angel, God, universe, spirits, angels. Uh, I'm sorry. Angel, spirit guys, they like present. <laughs> I'm just, oh my God. That's why I'm just sitting here smiling because they goofy. Okay. What we got for the ties? What we got for the ties? What do we got for the ties? What do we got for the ties? July 6th. July 6th. What's out here for July 6th? What energies for July 6th for Taurus? July 6th for Taurus. July 6th for Taurus. July 6th for Taurus. July 6th for Taurus. July 6th. July 6th. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What do we have for Taurus this week? From the 6th to the 12th. Starting with the 6th. Ending with the 12th. We got the 6th and the 7th. 6th. That's the day. We have destiny here. Destiny. Destiny and sacrifice for the 7th. Okay. Somebody could be waking up today in the process of waking up here. Realizing what needs to be sacrificed here. Okay? 
What we got for the eighth? We got third eye chakra. Be in the weir. Being in tune with your intuition. And we have movements, choices, and decisions popping up here. And we got for the 10th, then the 11th, then the 12th. 10th, 11th, and 12th. Of course. We got wisdom here. We got that in the reverse, but I'm keeping it upright. Because I don't think these, these cards don't even matter in the reverse. I mean, I guess they do. You could be acting like you don't know something. Let's put that back up. We'll do it clear for you like that. What we got for the 11? The Taurus. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The waiting game in reverse. Mm. What we got for Taurus? I guess these cards really do matter in reverse. So let's just keep them how they fall, okay? I'm going to go here. 12. For the 12th, we have positive movement forward in the upright. And on the bottom, partnerships and alliances. So, let's get into it. Let's clarify. Why we got a destiny here on the 6th for Taurus? Why is destiny here on the 6th for Taurus? Clarify destiny here for Taurus on the 6th. Clarify destiny why is Destiny here? And the six of Taurus. And Destiny, why are they here for six of Taurus? Okay, we got the Magician and the Three of Cups, okay? Could be some celebrations today. Around um, a sudden epiphany where you realize you got the information that you needed that you've been waiting for here to celebrate. Realizing that you have all the tools you need to manifest the celebration. What sacrifice here for Taurus? What sacrifice here for Taurus? On the seventh of July. What sacrifice here for Taurus on the seventh of July? Okay. Oh, the devil. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Sax. Sax. Sacrifice. I was going to say sacrifice it, but you might be sacrificing sacks here. Sailing away to karma waters, okay? Removing yourself from stuck. Getting away, you're sacrificing devil energies. Toxic. Codependent. I mean, codependent. Binding. Obsession. Sex. Sex. Sacrifices. Sex. Sacrifices. That's what y'all could be doing. Sacrificing some sex, I think. Sacrifice and sex. Third eye chakra. Third eye chakra. Why is third eye chakra here on the eighth for tours? Third eye chakra. Why is that here on July eighth for tours? Why is that here? For July the eighth for tours. Temperance. Bringing in the balance here. Movement choices and decisions for the ninth for Taurus. Why is that here? Movement choices and decisions. Why is that here for the ninth for Taurus? Okay. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Why is wisdom in the reverse? Why is wisdom in the reverse? Here's the Taurus. Wisdom in the reverse. Okay, the magician in the reverse. Having a new perspective. Coming out of stuck. Coming out of being stuck. The waiting game. Okay. We got the wheel of fortune. Yep, in the cycle. And then the ace of pentacles in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Positive movement forward. What's positive movement forward here? Positive movement forward. Positive movement forward. We have
the Five of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. But that's too much. Positive movement forward, forward towards. Why is that here? The Ten of Cups with strength on the bottom. So, let's see. Here, with this other deck. To give the tarot. I'm going to clarify a little deeper. Why is the magician in the three of cups clarifying destiny for Taurus? The magician in the three of cups. Why is that clarifying destiny for Taurus? The magician in the three of cups. Something slipped over. It looks like, nope. It's just upside down. The moon. the moon was upside down. That was from Sagittarius's reading. Why is the magician in the three of cups here clarifying destiny for Taurus on the 6th of July? The magician in the three of cups is clarifying destiny. On the 6th of July. Why is the magician in the third cups here clarifying destiny? On the 6th of July. The magician in the third cups. Three of cups. Why is they clarifying destiny here? On the 6th of July. For Taurus. The five of cups. Ugh, excuse me. Three of cups and the magician. Some being left out in the cold here. Oh no, it's the Five of Cups. Feeling disappointed here. Feeling disappointed. What's this? Five of Cups, Magician, and Three of Cups. Eight of Cups, Three, three of Cups. And the uh, Five of Cups is the Eight of Cups. You could possibly be walking away here. Walking away from your destiny. Knowing you need to sacrifice toxicity. Knowing you need to sell away the calmer waters. Yep. We got the Queen of Swords in the reverse and Six of Wands upright. That means that you are not aligned with your truth here. You're walking away from what you need to be walking towards. In other words, you're walking towards something that possibly is not aligned with your truth with the Queen of Swords in the reverse. And selling away the calmer waters with it. Even though you could be possibly feeling bored with it, you still want to bring in the balance. Even though it's possibly toxic and you know you need to sacrifice it. What's the devil here clarifying sacrifice? The devil, why is that here clarifying sacrifice for Taurus on the seven? The fool card. You need to take a leap of faith towards higher level commitment and away from this devil. Single. Making a decision towards a new beginning, but you're holding on tightly to something. What's temperance here? Clarifying third eye chakra. Matter of fact, what's this this hierophant in this fool card? Clarifying the devil. Hierophant in the fool card. Why are they here clarifying the devil and sacrifice? Okay. We got five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Okay. In the hangman, okay? Being stuck around leaving this devil in the cold. Even though you need to know, even though you know you need to take the sleep of faith and take the take the leadership role here with the Emperor to put in the work here with the three of pentacles to, to go about this new way of being being with the page of swords. You got a lot of anxiety around it. You're knowing it that you need to leave the cold, but you you staying stuck. Stay in bind it, stay addicted, obsessed, whatever. Temperance, why is that clarifying third eye chakra? The eight of wands in the reverse. Blockages. And the two of cups in the upright. So you got blockages around a, a new beginning here. Feeling like you're stuck, but it's really a mental imp in prison. 
and something probably stable. But we got the Page of Swords here again, which showed you, which was the new way of being that you need to go about being. And that's clarifying movement, choices, and decisions. So they're telling you here that you got this way that you know you need to go, but you probably ain't. Yep. Decision being made here. Two of Wands in the reverse. I don't know what your decision is. Your decision is made, but you're needing to find go about it in a different way with the Page of Swords is what this is saying. Um, what's this Two of Wands in the reverse? Yeah, it's got um, the Seven of Wands here. You feel like you got the higher ground to stand up and fight. Okay, so you're plotting, strategizing, possibly working on the plan here because you're holding on tightly here. So what you feel like you want to take the lead toward, what you feel like. What's this two of swords? The two of wands in reverse and the seven of swords. No, this is not plot. This is being deceptive. Something's deceptive here. Seven of swords and the two of wands in the reverse. Seven of swords upright, two of wands in the reverse. Seven of swords upright, two of wands in the reverse. You're probably deceiving yourself here as well as others around you. Yep. We got temperance on here. Clarifying third eye chakra. We got temperance saying that you know that what your wish fulfillment is and you know what you, what makes you happy. You know what, what you need to bring uh, the balance in, but you still are defensive. Trying to stand up and have the higher ground to fight here. And this card, the nine of wands, is not a wounded warrior. He's ready to fight for whatever it is that he wants. And it's probably this commitment or whatever this is, long standing here. What's the Nine of Cups and the Temperance for Taurus? This the Eighth. Six of, and the Ninth. The Ninth. Six of Cups. Something from the past here. Choosing. You want to choose a Six of Cups over a Nine. That's what this looks like. You want a new beginning with the past here. Something. Maybe baby mama. Wife. Something like that. That could be you. You could be the mother. But we got the Wheel of Fortune here in the world. Possibly a cycle needing to close here. Six of Cups. Yep. You need to move forward from the past. And that's your new way of being. That's how you need to do it. But look, we got wisdom in reverse. So I don't think you want to do that. And we got the Ace of Swords on the bottom and the Star. So you definitely know. You definitely know that this love needs to be poured out. And you need to head towards this passion and new beginning. But... What it shall you do? What's this hangman in reverse? Clarifying wisdom in the reverse. You shall hold on tightly with the four of pentacles. Hangman in the reverse. Clarifying wisdom in the reverse. Hangman in the reverse. Clarifying wisdom in the reverse. Hangman in the reverse. Clarifying wisdom in the reverse. So, yep, that's what it's saying. That you're needing to with the six of pentacles it says that you're needing to go and have a new perspective here okay but you're not because wisdom is in the reverse that's not what you want to do you want to hold on tight to this new beginning and emotion from the past here but that's not what you're needing to do here with the six of cups in reverse you need to give up on the waiting game in reverse and close this cycle Okay, but for some reason, you still want to stay here. Ace, Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, is the Seven of Cups. There needs to be a reassessment going on here about what you're holding on to. Okay? And we got the Knight of Pentacles. Been here for a long time. Steady, sturdy, possibly. And you need to come in here and be honest. And we got the King of Pentacles down here. Okay? Yeah, what's this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? And the Wheel of Fortune? Clarifying. Waiting game reverse. The Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Wheel of Fortune clarifying waiting game reverse. Is this where you finally close it? And I think this is where you finally close it when you realize, like, damn it, I can't do it no more. On the 11th. Yep, there is swords. A motherfucker didn't hurt you for the last time. It's over. Eight of Pentacles. You put a lot of work in here. You're tired of fighting. Now, boom, there's that cycle you're going to close. You know why? Because the justice didn't showed up. This person done hurt your feelings for the last time. He had you waiting for the last time. Showing you the things that ain't dependable for the last time. And you done with that. You moving forward. Positive movement forward here. Towards something more happy. Okay. What's this Ten of Cups here? Clarifying positive movement forward. Ten of Cups clarifying positive movement forward. 
Okay. Positive movement forward. We got the devil popping out here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Coming here feeling like uh daily missed the opportunity with you. I'm feeling like oh well I don't I don't want you to go. I want you to stay attached and bind it to me. And you just come out here with your ace of swords like psh, 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 cut through the bullshit. I'm good. You cut through the bullshit with the king of swords, okay? King of swords. Because mentally you are balanced here and you realize you ain't got time for the jealousy to fight no conflict. You ain't got time for it. What's this ace? Yeah, we got the four of wands. You cutting through the bullshit. Cutting through some bullshit. Cutting through the illusion of that this is stable. Okay? You all you need within yourself. You're going to pour all that love back into yourself. You're enlightened. You have the light you need here. Okay? Four of wands. Four of wands, ace of swords, the devil. You want stability here. Four of Wands, Ace of Swords, Four of Cups, and the Devil. Four of Wands, Four of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Devil. Four of Wands, Four of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Devil. You're bored with that toxic shit. You want something stable, so you cut and do it. You're going to align with your truth to get you something stable here. And you're going to leave that devil out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles here on the bottom. Okay? You're going to leave out being stuck in the, out in the cold. You're going to follow your intuition here. Okay? And we got a divine timing on your side. And guess what that is? All because judgment has been served here. Judgment has been served. And it's all fun and game. It's all fun until the, to the rabbit got the gun. And we got the lovers in the reverse. Okay? You want out. Now, motherfucker, want to come apologize. And you're like, ah, I ain't trying to hear it. Okay? So, it looked like this is like you went from being so sure that you not letting go of something to being like, okay, bitch, this is the last motherfucking time that you had to fuck me over. So, cutting ties. Cutting losses. Cutting your ties or cutting your losses. One of them is going to be the title to this. Cutting ties. Yep, that's what I heard first. Cutting ties. Let's get some advice out here before we let you go. Divine timing is on your side, okay? Helping you, guiding you to this new beginning here is a reason to celebrate with the Three of Cups. Something that you can manifest, something that is dependable, okay? Something that doesn't leave you disappointed. Well, we got the Taurus from the 6th to the 12th for advice. I hope that find out. Something stable. What well, we got the Taurus from the 6th to the 12th for advice. What do we have for tour? In the six to twelve for advice. Okay. So what do we got? We got the three of wands. Okay. The future looks promising. He's looking out, making future plans for himself. Okay. Possibly thinking about new love here. Far out in the future or possibly. But first, healing. Okay? 
So this week, you're being told that divine timing is on your side, okay? Work on healing yourself and putting love back into yourself here with the star card. Then we can worry about love, okay? Because, excuse me, you got prosperity, a prosperous, a prosperous, a prosperous, sorry, prosperous, excuse me, future out here. Now, it might take a little time, but slow and steady always wins the race. And at the end of the day, it's going to be your reward. That big old pentacle. Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning that you was gifted by God because of all the work that you had to go through. Everything that you dedicated, all the time and effort and energy that may have been wasted or taken for granted here in this position where you are currently withdrawing your energy from or currently seeing yourself exiting from. Okay. So with that being said, um, that's what I got for you this week, Taurus. I got some new merch up on my site, on my little app, in my link. I'm going to leave it down below. In case you guys want to support me by buying some merch, checking out the merch. I just put up new merch, new jewelry. Um, yeah, so just check it out, okay? The link is down below. Um, and if this did resonate with anybody, please do hit the thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up. That's a free way to support the channel. It does help me. It helps to get out to other people. Okay, so hit that thumbs up because that's a free way of supporting me. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because I will let us see you back here next week. Okay, so with that being said, that's what I got for you. Okay, thanks. See you next time, Taurus. Good luck this week and take it easy on yourself. Okay, namaste. Mwah.